Green Leaf Check presents. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Fresh Let's Vibe. I go by the name of Sheiks, and this is episode two. Today with us, we have Ripple, Jeezy, Ooh. Ja, also known as the Highlights Crew. How's the crew? Yeah. <laughs> what are you guys, um, how you guys been doing? Really good, good. chilling. Good. Good. Thanks yeah. for having us on your yeah. show. No, thank Appreciate you. It. Thank you for letting us come into your space. You know, we kind of just invaded, but you know, how you guys doing? How's music been? You guys been working hard? New stuff yeah, coming actually, out? Yeah, actually, yep. This would have just been like right after this, just going to another session. Yeah. Usually, we, yeah. we can worry, <laughs> especially, working. yep. Mm -hmm. Usually, try to link up uh, a couple of days out of the week and mm -hmm. try to commit to a few sessions. So. Correct. That must be hard with all three. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's <laughs> challenging, yeah, but. Yeah, um, it is. When you trying to make something happen, everybody, everybody, on the everybody same page. kind of puts their own efforts, and we all meet halfway. So yeah, I was just talking to you us. guys. I didn't even get to talk to Repo, so the communication was there, which is really good. I didn't get to talk to you right, to set right. this up. Yeah, yeah. But I'm, we're all one and the same. Yeah. So if they say something, it's just Thank as well you. as me. Thank you for relaying the message. Um, so I was listening to your guys's um, little. Um, interview you guys had with Stone Groove Radio. Right. Um, Shout out drama. Yep, yep. Yeah. Next door. Shout out Seb. That's the neighbors right there. That's what's up. Same. I um, I was listening and you guys are talking about how you two first met and then you can't you. you no, met. it was actually them two. Oh, oh the okay, guy. okay, okay, okay. And they was already doing music. I let John tell the story. He tell the story. Shit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, so I, I used to just like um, I, I always had a passion for the for the beats and um, I would always just be making beats at the crib. And um, Jeezy was always in the cut, just like freestyling right, right. and just making like hooks and stuff while I was mm -hmm. doing the thing, cause I, I wasn't really rapping at the time. And then, um, long story got short, Ill beats though. Uh, long story oh, short, yeah. I, I was like uh, just curious, like trying to research the hip hop scene, and uh, came across re some of Repo's videos. Mm -hmm. Reached out to him over the email, yeah, I've sent him that. some beats, and then yeah, and then that's how we kind of linked up. Mm -hmm. So we actually made a few tracks before I even met him, right. like in the flesh, mm -hmm. like okay. in person, kind. We first met Dude, next email, door, yeah. yeah. Made like two or three songs before oh, we subs. even met. Yeah, at we subs. met at okay. subs. And, yeah. then and then we just met at like uh, one of the, um, we just met during uh, one of his sessions. Okay. Just linked up okay. with him. And the, then the, the original highlights idea was a clothing line. Like he had the right, TC, right. That's what the I highlights heard. clothing. Right. And then it was like when we finally did link up, we was in his in his house. He had the studio in his house, like Mike in his living room kind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was like, shit, we should just make a crew, dog. Mm -hmm. TNC, the highlights crew. How did you come up with the name? That's that's what I wanted to know. Like, where did like, highlights, highlights come from? Like, man, I'll, I'll tell it straight up. Like, so I have a, a old school record. And it's called the Shy Lights, which is a super uh -huh. dope, like, right, like, straight up, <laughs> like seventies, like band, like old school band, doo yeah. mm -hmm. like Motown, soulful stuff. And um, I was. I was like rolling up a, a cigarette, and um, <laughs> when I, I used uh, one of the tools that you use to break down the, the tobacco, and it covered the C. The <laughs> and yeah. when I looked down, when I looked down, the uh, the C was gone, and like all that was left from the highlights was the highlights, you know. And I was like, man, that's so dope, cause Hell I mean, dope. like everybody always remembers like the highlight of your day, or like. Like oh, ESPN, like, right. like, 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 yeah, so it was kind of like a, it was like a double play. It was like uh, we are from from Hawaii, you know. Mm -hmm. Hi is our is right. our state, right. and um, everybody like always gonna remember the dope stuff. So it's just like man highlights. It was just like it was I like just, to that say, was it, you know. I like to say this to Phil Jackson, <laughs> Michael Jordan, Scotty Pippen. You know I mean? He's the coach. We played again. I'm, I'm so sure. I, I could be crazy like that probably one day. I love Scotty Pippen though. He's ill. Yeah, he got his nose, my G. <laughs> <laughs> I probably do though. Yeah. So, yeah. do you guys have you guys like um, in your family? Like, do you guys have anybody that's also musically influenced as well? Oh man, like my this dad, guy right here. Yeah, my my family. I, I'm from Hilo, mm -hmm. born and raised. Hey, Hilo, but um, <laughs> yeah, like my uh, my family hey, hey. is is pre is pretty uh is linked Heavy up with the music. music. Yeah. yeah. Like my uncle Mickey Iwani, he wrote like a super dope like Hawaiian song that everybody knows. Uh, it's called Hawaii '78. If you know that song, that, yeah, that's, that's like straight cool. up like my uncle, yeah. uncle, like my my dad's sister. Roots. That's like her husband. So ever since a kid, he would always just be chilling at like like Luau, mm -hmm. just always just playing guitar, mm -hmm. slack key, just like jamming, you know. And he would bring his his partners. Mm -hmm. So like you you would be playing in, in in the trees and stuff, and there'd just be jams going on, and you don't even think nothing because it's just like happening. You just right. like, oh it's man, this is like typical yeah. backyard. Yeah, yeah the, the seed started yeah. started young, and okay. then um, man, I just always loved music, like whether it be Hawaiian music, hip hop music, jazz, R and B, mm -hmm. and we just trying to Same keep it. Same for me keep too. Going. Like you go you go back to pictures. I was like five years old. My dad used to put me in like a guitar, big ass guitar, but 
I did have like a Paco Lolo plant on the left, <laughs> like you know, what I mean? straight hood stuff. But been making music forever, uh -huh. forever. Like old school rap, like Naughty by Nature. I used to take like their raps, make the words that they rhyme with, and then fill in my own gaps. Okay. And I was like nine years old doing this. I didn't know what I was doing, but it led up to Jack in the lyrics. Uh. I would watch Bobby Brown and Janet Jackson perform, and I remember they had like the, the, the earphone mic piece. So when it was done, I put like the watch battery thing in my ear, <laughs> and that shit got stuck for like two weeks. And my mom was like, what the fuck is that smell? And she would like smell my head, and like, long story short, I put a watch battery in my ear, got it stuck, <laughs> because I watched Bobby Brown and Janet Jackson dance, and I was like, Try to perform like them with the invisible <laughs> mic thing, and like yeah, I've been making yeah. music forever. What about you, GZ? You or you just always right. had it in you? What? I don't know. Yeah, I guess. Mm -hmm. Fucking with everybody in the streets, niggas <laughs> always freestyling. And I used to fuck with it when I was younger. Kinda. Yeah. And um. I always been around it though. My gr I guess one of my grandpas used to be. Nice. Uh, they used to bump Hillary Duff. All that shit. His <laughs> yeah. That's his era. His yeah. era. Like Hillary Duff. He, he used oh to be. God. He used to be like a, a old school blues singer. Mm -hmm. Some so, maybe that trickled down. I don't know. Though. <laughs> don't your and, uncle own the studio upstairs too? Oh yeah, yeah. We got him in there. Right. Yeah, my uncle Mike. This guy so he's from be... LA. He's doing this thing too. Mm -hmm. What is a typical day in the studio with you guys? Oh man, we're talking about 15 swishers. <laughs> Ounce of good yeah. weed. Maybe a bottle of Hennessy, jaw on the motherfucking beats, the pots and the pans. <laughs> yeah. BGZ on the couch, this couch, writing verses. Like, you'll have yeah, two sounds. It's basically that. My dog, so dope, he'll have two sounds and we'll be writing a song already. Like, mm -hmm. before. And the jump, the jump thing about it is he'll be burnt out from making mm -hmm. the beat and recording us. So we'll do a song, but he won't be on it. Yeah, he won't be he able was, to even get it. He was the guy who made the beat. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. So that's why that nigga be over. Like sometimes, <laughs> like you, you stoked and like you made something dope mm -hmm. and you want to get on it because if you don't get on it, then it gets cut and you don't. Yeah. You don't right. Right. We play, we play rap roulette in here. Like there be like twelve dudes in here. The uh -huh. first four cats to make a verse, you on the song. If you yeah. don't, for everybody being here, like. Trying to match their yeah. verse out. Yeah, like, I was in here the other time. Maybe, yeah. dog, in like yeah. half an hour like, shit. You know three of us and like one of them. You gotta them. match your verse out in half an hour, and if it's yeah. not ill, like, niggas got taken off the songs hella times, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. So everybody had their chance, but. Yeah. We play rap yeah. roulette. The good thing too I like about the sessions here is like they're they not planned. Like we just come. Yeah, it's everybody. organic. Also, it's, yeah, almost like, it's, organic. it's almost like a potluck. Potluck, you know? We don't know. Like everybody brings something and we just vibe. Like, like everybody don't even have to like ask, like, They'll bring like you know whatever they they bring to the party like a, a, a twelve whatever pack. I'll, they can I'll bring afford. like a bottle whatever bring I like to drink. I'll bring them and then when we'll we come here, book. everything's yeah. here, so we just like let the vibes flow. You know, we just Organic. we just like yeah, we just vibe. That's the best thing about it. Like we don't from force scratch. nothing. And sometimes we come here, we don't even no, make nothing. Winslow, no, Winslow being here when we start from scratch. Yeah, yeah. And I remember the um, there was a song Winslow showed me with um, homegirl Kimmy. Shout out to Kimmy. Kimmy. With Jeezy, yeah. I think. I don't remember what song it is. You yeah. guys have to have some tracks. Well, Kimmy Gay Bye, yeah. Kimmy. Winslow's homie. The makeup yeah. home girl, yeah? yeah? Yeah. Or hair. She does hair. Oh, hair? Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> she wear makeup. Well, I, I'm very aware of what she does. <laughs> she be always wearing makeup. She's makeup. doing something in the beauty game. Well, she be right, pretty. Right. She be extra pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean. Yeah. You see, you're trying to incriminate. Yeah. <laughs> just the home girl. We just chilling. So you guys have done some shows this past year, Far Side, um, Currency yeah. last Devin year. Devin the Dude, Devin, Devin, yeah. Devin yep. the Dude. Mm -hmm. You guys been busy. Well, we're trying to get in where we fit in. You yeah. know, the door yeah, ain't really kinda, open it's, for us. Yeah, it's pretty hard. It's pretty that's hard cool, to get shows. That's cool, because some people just trying to get shows all the time, every single one, yeah. whether it matches or not. Nah, but we're you trying guys, to go where we mesh at. You okay, know? yeah, yeah, where you guys vibe with. Right. It's not about where we've been, it's where we're going. Yeah. You feel me? No, nah, but it's just all really a hobby for us. We he been rapping forever. He yeah. been playing instruments forever. 2007, I know, forever. I'm gonna hit ten years and on a, uh, like one more year. Yeah, you know yeah we were talking about that earlier. Gritty fifty. That yeah. that was like way back yeah. and. Been, I'm from Wahoo. I've been making so. good yeah, music out here. Really good music with <laughs> no support, and it's okay though. It's okay. So right. what you guys have going just on, like... Underground. You there, you, you get love. But I know y'all hear me. <laughs> yeah, I know you see me. I know you know I'm better than you motherfuckers. <laughs> I know you know, dog. You know. We got Wenzel doing behind the scenes. The one that you probably seen before. Slaving but again, anyway. <laughs> as usual. But um, I want to know what you guys have going on later on this year. Are you guys just coming out with a project or something? What's going um, on? Me and, me and Jeezy about to drop a yeah. whole bunch of, like a young OG tape. Mm-hmm. On a bunch of job beats, I think we got a couple Winslow beats too. Mm -hmm. um, 
as far as like us as a group, we got a bunch of music. Like that, you just gotta get finished though. Like mm -hmm. you check our hard drive. We have like so much music, and it's I just bet. a matter of uh, just kind of like, uh, like we said, we theming them here. together, right? And then seeing where they they fall mm -hmm. in. But man, it's almost like every time we come in here, like we a, do something. A, something's yeah. gonna yeah. get done. But it's know? to the point where we come in here, we do something, and the next day it's forgotten. We move mm -hmm. on. But now you mm -hmm. got a song that's dope as hell. That got got to get finished, but yeah. we don't move backwards. Right. We move yeah, forward. She yeah. just right. gets trampled over all day. If I go on my hard drive, we got like 20, 30 songs, like my verse, his verse, his but verse. But when we make missing. slaps, when we make slaps, we don't even care kind of about yeah. the the old shit yeah. that's unfinished. This kind of this stuff is kind of like for fun, man. We, yeah. This, this is on our spare <laughs> We're not really time. Tripping it's on, on that. Spare time, you know? Yeah, it's just almost like uh, like every time like you you uh, you know you you session, you make a song. It's like you sharpen your sword and you just want to keep keep going, you know. So sometimes mm -hmm. like. Trying to fall back on and like work on old stuff is just what it is. It's yeah. old, you know, and you're yeah, just like, man, backwards. I'm like yeah. way more tighter and way more brighter now. So you just gotta like capture what, what what's I, hot and what you the, think is I swear to God, the stuff in a hard drive. If motherfuckers sat down for one day and just finished that, we have a whole album. Probably yeah, a couple yeah. albums, possibly. Dope stuff too. We got, yeah. we got a lot of shit that's yeah. unfinished, but we fuck just keep it. it moving. We come, we record, we we're gonna move get on. to the next day. We can. forget about that song and move it's forward. It's just gonna pop up on the SoundCloud, like. Mm -hmm. It's just gonna yeah, be there, right. like, and it's gonna be like a two-year-old yeah. song, like a two-year-old song mm -hmm. nobody ever heard. But we've been fucking Dope. with a new sound too. Uh, we linked up with some cats, some uh, some peaceful. Uh, just so you guys know, it's not y'all don't fuck with us. We don't fuck with you. Yeah, right, that's what that <laughs> is. <laughs> but yeah, we linked up with anybody and everybody. Don't fuck with you, you me, dog. <laughs> right. We don't. We don't. Y'all names with, on our wall, but we don't fuck with y'all. We'll link up with anybody, all. but niggas just scared. Niggas just really scared to. To really reach out, I guess, or they think we act brand new or something. You know what it is? Know. How you gonna or shine? Or nigga, this nigga if, only act like that because start, niggas, huh? this nigga only acting like that because he know niggas is really hating. Oh, you know I've, been mean? Music, I've been putting good music. You know what I mean? Forever, yeah, we, we always you know getting our mean? we always getting our yeah. shine, but it's all good. You know what I mean? It's not really like a hey, man, competition I anyway. Yeah, it's, it's, road, it's, it's more of a it's more of a it's about music. Don't 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 on my music. I've been making dope music for right. <laughs> yeah. Right, I know. With no still, support. But I said, oh, y'all support. No, if you whack, you get support. If you dope, yeah, that's you how it is out here. Yeah, you always yeah, get, man. if you dope, you don't that's get shy. I feel. And if you, you if you I whack, you get shy. I speak for myself. Nah, that's yeah. how it is. I For me, shit. Anyway. Yeah? I'm chilling. <laughs> <laughs> I always yeah. chilling, man. I'm, we, I'm just saying that we would link up with anybody, you know what I mean? Yeah, We're not really tripping on... Wall. Everybody been here. Yeah, we do, we do music with though. anybody, but what I was talking about was we linked up with some cats that's like some hippie dudes and type deal. Our niggas John and them. Mm -hmm. Or John Lyon. Jason, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mac Bond. These guys is pretty cool. Up. Yeah, they're like all from different walks of life. From, they from Japan or like other sh other places. Long that, story short, we're building us a fucking army, dog. Yeah. Yeah. It they're pretty lit. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. We got a different sound coming. I think with John them. Lyon got a show on like, like the twenty second at mm -hmm. Republic. John Lyon. I'm gonna go somewhere up. Uh, Hawaiian Brands or something. Else. Yeah. But on the real, we work with with everybody. Like Hurdle got a project coming out. Uh, I guess like he's trying to do his album. Mm -hmm. and he actually sent us the um, the track that he wanted us featured on. Mm -hmm. So and uh, like Winslow be coming through and like Fuck we have like Winslow. <laughs> <laughs> Winslow be coming through. Nah. <laughs> we like man, it's like whoever's in the building is like always like yeah. welcome. Like that's the thing. Like you know where we at. If you here, fuck so. with us, come through. You gonna jump on a track? And I'm sure you guys see a lot of people too since Sub is right next door. You right. know, so a lot of people. Now come we get in. a lot of shit. Yeah, we, we even over here. I I really link Freeze. up like a lot of people like. Ja with a lot of cats that mm -hmm. make music, you know. We're always bringing in people that we work on production with. I fucking threw Winslow in the people room with like, yeah. yeah, I threw Winslow in the room with like five different kind of cats once a week, you know what I mean? I like, for the record, he's like, who the fuck is this guy? Beats, I'm like, yo, though. just make the beat with him, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. dog? Like, yeah. So that's what we really on right now is just mm -hmm. vibing with a lot of people and, and bringing this shit together, trying to get going where the fuck we supposed to go. Right. Wild niggas still hate. Right. And go, say your piece again. Uh, I ain't got to say my piece, dog. You're very, I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to say it up next time. we sound the best on Winslow Beats, dog. Check them. Check yeah, em. we put Winslow back in the game, dog. <laughs> Real talk. So, um, I want to talk, you've, you've obviously been around for a little while, more seasoned up with experience. Mm -hmm. um, if you could give light on managing time and family of course and music like what is the best advice you can give another artist going through the same thing or somebody family first, first dog that trumps right? everything like mm -hmm. as much as i want to do music 
that's hard for me to do if I got two kids and mm-hmm. a girl I got to keep happy. So, right. like, this spot, out of a month, I might be here four days. Mm-hmm. And that's still too much. You yeah. know what I mean? So, the best, art, the best advice I can give you is pull out. <laughs> pull out. Uh, <laughs> but, that was a good pull out. of course, you are here four days out of the month, but you get the most work done. Month, You're here. You know that, right? Yeah. There's 31 days in a month. I'm here four days. At the very most. Yeah. At the very most. And yeah. that's still a lot. But, you know, you get a lot of work done. You come prepared. You know yes. what you got to get done. You know, what about you guys? Any advice? Man, These yeah. niggas work, man. I play you around, man. Man. <laughs> I'm <a laughs> awesome other <laughs> shit all the time, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, now, we really get work done, though. Back when we first started linking up, we used to knock out, like, like four, six five, songs, six yeah, like whole EP, like finished songs, 15, probably like four 15, a day, yeah. Fifteen back in the swishers day. later, yeah. Five pack, five pack, five. We pack. stayed smoking like as long as we knew each other. But it's like you know six I mean? songs, Heavy like a whole album, though. We did a whole Friday. Out. Remember, did a Friday. These days mm-hmm. we knock out still like two songs, probably three. We're just fucking around, like it's organic. That's why. So these niggas make mm-hmm. the beat as long as somebody can get on the hook or it's or right. get a verse on it. They record that shit. It's on to the next song. So it's like, you know what I mean? Niggas but will the, like come I said, in. Though, the bad thing about that is the next day, the song we did yesterday, nobody's worrying about that. Yeah. Right. You guys are just worried about So now about we what? got a bunch of incomplete mm-hmm. tracks. tracks, you know? Some shit's getting knocked out, though, that day. Yeah, they know? do, though. Like, we got hella shit to shoot video for, nigga. That it's day. give and take. You know what I mean? I want to say out of five songs, three of them get done, the other two just sit. Right. If we, but he, like even right now, with us not even working that hard, if you really think about it, dog, we could shoot. It would yeah. like for a year, easy. Like dog, we wouldn't even have enough time to shoot like five, six videos, probably. You know what I mean? Right. Mm-hmm. That's like, neither here. We'll never even work, dog. But we got more music never than we ever work. Need, probably. <laughs> Basically, we do it without trying. Right, mm-hmm. and we don't even really put out shit because niggas don't really care. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. When we do put out shit, though, people people kind of fuck with it. Out, like I said though, out here is hard. Like the scene is pretty. Why do you think slim. it's hard? Why? Like, Cause everybody ain't working because together. I dog. believe if you whack, you get support. If you better, <laughs> you get no support. Boom. I Along promise. with that, you if, if, if you if, if you're dope out here, you get no support. I promise. Niggas ain't working together. Yeah. That is what he's if basically you whack, saying. Dog, you get all the support. Dog. You Ooh, not because you're not a threat. No, you're not a threat. No, nobody's worried about you, so they support you. I can sum it up in like a few words. It's all about who you know, and that applies anywhere, bro. Not what you know. Like it's all about who you know, and sometimes like some people just know how to like rub shoulders and rub both. You know, smooth Mm -hmm. stuff over with to get to position themselves in better positions, Mm -hmm. and then like to me, I think it's. You, know, you can't you can't knock them because they 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 got there. But like I see so much other people within like, my peers, like even in, within the hip hop scene, that like mm-hmm. I think should be like. But let me tell you, let should, me should, tell you, like, you the downside of it. Shows, Look, you know, if you dope, I don't even know you, but I would tell somebody about your music. Like dog, right. check this cat out. He's dope as fuck. Never met him, don't know him, but his music is dope. Mm-hmm. They don't do that here. They'll hide that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And we've been making yeah. good music. Imagine if we had everybody that support each other supporting us the same way. Mm-hmm. We don't get that, but it's cool. Like we're not mad. Like that makes us want to do it more. You know what I mean? To, right. To win it probably okay. we did it on our own kind of. That's, 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 no that's another thing too. Like that's what. But so, we see it. Like we see it. Like it's like it's like it's like a Hawaii thing too. Like Hawaii has so much like flavors and cultures. Mm-hmm. It's like the music scene here is just like that. It's like not everybody going to make the same type of music. So I can see how the support wouldn't like you know. Like beat you because sometimes people would just be like, man, I'm not feeling that style, you know. And then they're making maybe something that I'm not feeling either. So right, 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 right. it's just like sometimes you just people just don't feel the flavor that's popping what about out. For like regular locals that just listen to mainstream stuff, and you guys are putting out mainstream or like dope stuff, you, which you guys are doing. What do you feel is like the biggest like divider? Like why? Don't you think more locals, more locals don't? I think because I don't probably get some slack for saying this. I think because the radio stations play whack stuff here. Yeah, they play. Nobody really fucks with the radio anyway. There's so much good music like you could play in a day, and they play like the same Mm -hmm. 10, 11 songs all day, and that's why I can't listen to it. And then that's why that's why if so if our local people are listening to those same 10, 11 songs all day, that's all they know. You're putting them in a box. So then, we that's never, all they we know, never you know? even get a chance. So then, when, when you try to expose them to different flavors, they're like, nah, I can't sing along to that. Like, that's like too intricate or too detailed. Mm-hmm. So, like, I feel like the radio stations need to, to step up their game because. Right. You, and man, you know what? You go to every state, you go to Atlanta, you go to LA, they're playing local rappers on radio right. stations. 
Mm-hmm. Over here, you don't get that. You know so, what I mean? Like, they could play a bigger part in supporting what we're doing out here. And that's for not, not only us, Sometimes everybody. they do. I mean, they get Yeah, 12 just o'clock bone. at night. Right, right, right. 12, 12 p.m. at night. at 12 o'clock at night. Play my shit just in traffic. Show, be while everybody night. fighting traffic on the way home or on the way to work. Right. You know what I mean? Let them hear that at 7.30 in the morning, 6 in the morning. Right. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Four thirty in the evening, five in the evening, not twelve at night. Nobody gives a yeah, shit about true. twelve at night, dog. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes, like when you like uh, do have a platform to hear, like the the local scene, it's it's when everybody's sleeping because they gotta wake up work in the morning, right. you know. Right. So, what do you guys want to see more of from the industry, or just from local support from home? What do you guys want to see more of? Me personally, I want to see y'all stop making whack shit dope. <laughs> You know what I mean? Stop supporting whack ass motherfucking shit, dog. That's all I want. Stop saying whack is dope because you're making whack the new dope. You're making fake the new real. And I can't, I can't conspire with that. That's all I ask. I'm going to keep making the same music I always make. And that's what you like to do you know? and you're most comfortable in all Forever. of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anything y'all want to add? No, everybody got to come Stop together. Stop wearing tight dog. jeans, that's why the, funny colors, no? That, that. That's why this shit ain't flourishing out here, cause mm-hmm. no everybody not really working together, you know. Mm-hmm. But one day it will happen. So, um, you guys remember your first time starting, right? Starting rapping, starting recording, and everything. And now you guys have your own spot, the studio here. Mm-hmm. Um, what are some advice for somebody that's trying to get where you guys are? Invest in yourself. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Right. You just you can pay money for studio time, but mm-hmm. it'd be best to just buy your own money, your mm-hmm. own program. Get into it, how to right? do it. Yeah, do yeah. it yourself. Okay. Mm-hmm. What about for, you know, people that want to reach out to you? Like, what is some advice that, like, some people are always like, hey, can you, like, hit me up with this person to talk to you? Like, what is some advice that you would have for artists that are trying to link with you? Like, link with, like, within the artists within the community? Maybe? Yeah. Or just, like, somebody that's just starting out that want to try to link with you. Like, they might be intimidated or something. Oh, nah, man. It's 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 all love mm-hmm. here. Like, like I said, our, our, like, I mean, within reasonable range, like, we, we, we do take this craft mm-hmm. seriously. Like, you can't just pull up here and then think you're just going to rap on a track because it don't happen that way. You know, like, mm-hmm. there's definitely, like, a minimal standard of quality that you want to, like, maintain. Mm-hmm. And right. so that's, like, that's another thing I want to... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I want to say okay. quality, yeah. quality, definitely quality over quantity. Like, like do your research, do your homework, and make sure like this is mm-hmm. what you want to do. Like, cause you get clowned if if you yeah. whack. Find and a find a blueprint, follow that. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and definitely just be your own flavor, be original. Mm-hmm. Like you definitely want to be inspired from what inspires you, but you want to take that and, and reshape it, it into yeah. your own. Who you are? Cause you like know? man, that's how you get on. Yeah, like, yeah. I feel like the last thing we want to hear is a watered down Drake. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeezy. Or, yeah. Oh, sorry. No, no, sorry. no, no, yeah. Jeezy, what about, you know, if you, when you're talking to another artist, if you had advice to give them artists to listen to, like, oh, you should listen to this person, for whatever reason it is, who are some of the few people that you would want them to listen to? Either so, out here yeah. or somebody that you like to listen to. Off top, I would like them to listen to themselves first. <laughs> okay, you know <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> And then, I don't know, I and guess. And then think about that and then try again, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. You, I guess it. just really to look fucking whoever you really like, don't mm-hmm. try to be like them. You know what I mean? Because yeah. uh, that's when you come corny. What about from Jeezy, though? Like, from your collection of music? Like, oh, me? Yeah, Maybe, who would you uh, tell them to listen the to? The Uzi Vert? Fuck. <laughs> no, nah, I'm kind of off that wave. Because mm-hmm. now everyone's on it. But... I don't know. Shit. Who were you listening to first when you first started doing all of this? Fuck, I can't even remember. Probably uh Hillary Duff. <laughs> Coolio. He did. Yeah. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Coolio. Probably Coolio or yeah. some, you know what I mean? Some old school biggie or some Tupac. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I guess I really like old school shit, so I'd probably say Of course, because that's where everything comes from. Motherfuckers right? should listen to old school shit because all this new school shit is trash. Right. Tabernacle. Yeah, bitch. Mm-hmm. Tabernacle. <laughs> what about you, Repo? Who would you recommend? Godflow. If you don't. Oh <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, man, I don't know. I don't really listen to new music. Right. Um, listen to Repo. That'd be your best <laughs> bet. <laughs> <laughs> you can put some real yeah. shit. Repo, 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 Repo to rip off. Godflow. Mm-hmm. Any one of those. That's what you want to listen to. Yeah. Promise. Any shout outs you guys want to make to anybody? My mama. Shout my out mama. to my mom for yeah. raising me. Yeah. We wouldn't even and be my here. barber too. 
What's up, Barbara? <laughs> Mine too, Miss Christmas. Yeah, shout my, them out. My shoe, man. Shout out, Miss Christmas. My shoe, man. My tattoo, man. My nigga shouting everybody out. My weed, man. My <laughs> 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 shout out, everybody. Yeah. Shout out to everybody that now, does shout out to you for letting us come on the show. Oh, no, yeah. thank, you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Being the science guy. Yeah. Good ass wins. Yeah, there's, cozy. Cozy. there's a whole bunch of dope people in the in the building, man. You got Cozy behind the camera. You got brother Ben running. Ben the science like, man. Yeah. And yeah. I told him out of all the crew, I wanted to meet Ben the science man because he looked like the guy to make the world go round. He <laughs> yeah. did. Yeah, man. So yeah, I appreciate us coming off. Uh, I expected like, Ben the science guy to be like a bigger. I feel like guy, I feel like, I feel like you're a tastemaker, so like you have a minimal standard of. Uh, of quality too, so mm -hmm. for us to be a uh, you know uh, honorary guest is, is very honored. So no. we appreciate. Uh, what I want to know is what took you so long? Because we should have been, we should have been, been, we should have been the first <laughs> motherfuckers on the show. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Christ but I appreciate man. your guys' time letting us come here at the Highlight Studio. Um, I want to shout out Hawaii Camera for the equipment, the lighting, the lenses, um, of course, the crew, Cozy, Ben. Um, you guys are supporters. Um, we, yeah, I will obviously. Shout out the midget all. bitches coming through after they leave. <laughs> uh, I'm we wouldn't be here without you guys. Thank you guys for coming. See you guys later. Okay. And we're out. <laughs>